Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rick and I'm back with another pickup video. I'm going to try to make this brief as possible. I started not feeling too hot about a day ago. I'm very tired. I'm going to take some NyQuil and, you know, hopefully feel better. But I got a package in today from Facebook. I wanted to unbox it. Um, it was an incredible deal. However, I am a bit concerned. There are 12 movies that I paid $30 for, so on average $2.50 a piece. However, there are three titles that the person said are slightly scratched, but should play. That makes me very nervous, but we'll check it out, see how it is. I also wanted to mention before I uh, open my package, I just checked out Across the Universe. Uh, it was my first time watching it. It was a very, very good movie. It gets a little trippy and weird, probably halfway through, uh, but it was a very enjoyable movie. I'm a big fan of the Beatles, so the music in the movie was excellent. Uh, the only thing I will say is when it got finished, I thought for sure the runtime was maybe two and a half hours. And I looked at the case and it's only two hours and 13 minutes with the credits. I believe the credits are like seven or eight minutes, so... The movie felt a lot longer than it was. It was, you know, a little over two hours and felt like it was two and a half hours plus. So that's a bit of a bummer. Um, you can check out my review on Letterboxd. It's pretty much trying to say what I just told you guys. I'm giving it a three and a half out of five stars. So, we got a box. Once again, this is something I bought off of Facebook. Big surprise, I know. And if I'm not mistaken, 95% of this should all be Disney titles. Um, they do not come with their slips or their digital copy codes. But for the price I paid, you know, $2.50 a title for <laughs> this stack here. Um, so... I will be checking all the discs at some point, but I do want to check the quote-unquote damaged discs out. Uh, it looks like... Alright, so, looking at it, there's only one technical non-Disney title. The Magnificent Seven. I have yet to check this out. Uh, I'm a big Chris Pratt fan. I love Denzel Washington. Uh, you guys bear with me because I'm going to look at the discs as we go. Just because once I get done shooting this video, it probably won't get uploaded for a little bit. I'm going to, like I said, take my medicine go to bed. So Magnificent 7, very cool. Next. Next is Ant-Man on Blu-ray. Well, it's supposed to be Blu-ray and 3D Blu-ray. I don't have a 3D Blu-ray player or a 3D TV. And this only has the 3D disc. So I'm going to have to reach out to the lady and see if she still has the regular Blu-ray. So that's kind of frustrating. Next is a movie I picked up for RJ. Uh, it is not my cup of tea. Um, you guys might not like the fact that I am not a Star Wars fan. Uh, I've seen A New Hope. I think I've seen bits and pieces of Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. And that's the extent of my Star Wars uh, viewing. So, but RJ wanted me to get this. And it is Star Wars The Force Awakens in a very cool black case. I actually love the case. It looks like it has a bonus Blu-ray disc, as well as the Blu-ray and the DVD. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, the Ant-Man thing kind of bothers me because it's only the uh, 3D Blu-ray. It is not the regular Blu-ray, which does not help me at all because I do not have a 3D TV or Blu-ray player. The rest of this stuff is pretty much classic Disney until I get to the $1 titles. 101 Dalmatians, the uh, Diamond Edition, both discs look good. Uh, like I said, the only thing they don't have, they don't have their slips. They don't have their digital copy codes, but for $2.50 for Disney titles, guys, you know, I can't really argue or fight that. Next, I believe, is a four-disc edition. 
And once again, I'm sorry that I'm not looking at you guys. I'm checking out these discs because very cool. This is very cool. Awesome. So next we have the Ultimate Collector's Edition. Blu-ray, 3D Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy, Monsters, Inc. Very awesome. Monsters, Inc. Uh, is probably one of my favorite Disney movies. Um, I'm a huge fan of Monsters, Inc. I even enjoy Monsters University, which she had. She told me it was horribly scratched, though, so I definitely passed on it. I told her, never mind. Uh, it's not for me. So, next, another really cool title that I've actually, I believe I've watched most of these. Disney's short film collection, and it's the newer one. Um, you know, it has Paper Man, Feast, Frozen Fever. So, very cool. Blu-ray, DVD, combo pack, short films collection. Next, I'm a huge Toy Story fan. It is Toy Story that Time Forgot. I actually don't remember watching this. I know it was a special on ABC, I think around Christmas time. And every, all these discs look great um, so far. The only bummer so far is the Ant-Man is not complete. <laughs> um, this is really cool. You know, once again, I paid essentially $2.50 a title, guys. And, uh, yeah, it does have digital copy codes. Slips are missing, but when you can get Beauty and the Beast, which has been out for like three months, uh, which I did not buy when it initially came out, for $2.50, scratch-free, that's awesome. Like, Disney titles for two fifty. If I need it, I'm going to buy it. I don't care if it doesn't have the slip or the digital copy. Um... Like I said, I had a lot of Disney titles that I had to get rid of a while ago for, you know, one reason or another. So I'm trying to build back up what I got. Dumbo, 70th anniversary. Um, beautiful condition, once again. So, yeah. I just realized that I told you guys a little white lie. Apparently, Monsters University was one of the titles I bought for a buck. So we will see how scratched it is. I feel like I would not have taken it if she said it was horribly scratched. So these last three titles are all really, really good movies. I'm really kind of worried though at a bucket title. First, the Guardians of the Galaxy Blu-ray, uh, Blu-ray 3D combo pack. I have a bad feeling because I can see, okay, the Blu-ray 3D disc is scratch free, but I don't know if you guys can see on this photo. Yep. Yeah. You see that scratch going through the front of the disc? That looks to be pretty deep. And, uh. Wow. How. So. It looks like I'm still on the hunt for a 3D copy. I don't know if you guys can. Uh, yep. You can see that nasty scratch right there. I don't know if that's in focus, guys. Like, going right through the disc. That is a very deep scratch on a Blu-ray. So, um, maybe I will sell the 3D Blu-ray of Guardians of the Galaxy and try to put it towards a clean copy. Maybe just the Blu-ray. If somebody wants to trade me the 3D Blu-ray and the scratched Blu-ray for just the Blu-ray copy, let me know, send me a message, uh, comment down below. Alright, fingers crossed guys. Next, Monsters University. And like I said, alright, there's, there's deterioration of the artwork. So that's a bit of a bummer, but that can be resolved. Um, Let's see here. DVD. <sighs> DVD is scratch free. Now the important disc, the Blu-ray feature. <sighs> Can't tell. <sighs> oh. 
Um, I mean, there are some scratches on the Blu-ray. I don't know if it'll affect playback. The Blu-ray bonus disc looks to be scratch-free, of course. So, for the time being, I have a decent copy of Monsters University. It'll be somehow upgrade eventually, but for a dollar, you know, I figured I couldn't go wrong. Now, the title that I'm most excited about, and I hope, fingers crossed, guys, that this is a clean, problem-free uh, disc set. I'm going to take a look now. Right, the digital copy disc is scratch-free, but it doesn't have the paperwork, so that doesn't matter. DVD. Dirty, but scratch-free. I'm sure you guys can tell as I'm looking at the bottom of the disc what movie it is, by the way. Bonus Blu-ray. Clean. Come on, guys. The important disc. The feature-length Blu-ray. <laughs> guys, this is my favorite purchase of the package. The Incredibles 2 Blu-ray DVD digital copy set. One buck. I cost averaged them. I figured them at $2.50 a title. This is awesome. So, out of the stack, guys. We got this stack here. Ant-Man, I'm going to have to reach out to her because she told me everything had all their discs. That's not okay with me. Monsters University should play. It's slightly scratched. I would try to find a clean copy at a discount at some point. You know, eventually, maybe, if you guys have slip covers for any of this stuff that you want to get rid of, I would not be opposed to taking it. I don't need slip covers, but I like to have them. But the biggest bummer, I guess, is the deep scratches on Guardians of the Galaxy. I kind of wish it was on the 3D disc, because I, that wouldn't affect me. So like I just said, if anybody wants to trade my 3D disc, I'll even give you the scratch Blu-ray. If you guys just have the regular Blu-ray Guardians of the Galaxy, I would trade you guys. Uh, send me an email, uh, send me a message on YouTube, we'll figure something out. And uh, that's it guys. So, like I said, I'm tired, I don't feel good, so I'm, uh, I'm finishing up. Hit up all the stuff below, Letterboxd, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. Be sure you hit the like button on this video. Subscribe, keep checking out new uh, content. I'm going to keep producing it. And that's it, guys. So until next time, who's down the movie?